Good evening. The state television company of Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Official announcement. Which are the borders of Azerbaijan? In 1927, on this day, died Andrei Nikozanyan. The first synthetic paint in the Armenian highland was used in the Kingdom of Van. Million years old wheat remains discovered in Sebastia. Recently, a limited edition of July 24, 2019, entitled An Open Letter to UNESCO General Director Odli Ezele, was issued. This appeal is another attempt of Turkish and Azerbaijani anti-Armenian propaganda policies with a stupid tendency to illegally establish a border between Artsakh and Azerbaijan. And worst of all, it is committed by traitors of Armenian descent who have already crossed the old borders with their anti-Armenian affairs. Yulia Mikhailian, self-proclaimed minister of Culture of Western Armenia, working with the criminal and treacherous group Pasha Bazian Tersarksyan against Western Armenia with her so-called open letter and her short mind is speaking about the destruction of Armenian monuments in Azerbaijan. She illegally tries to establish a border between the Republic of Artsakh and Azerbaijan as an act of implementation on behalf of the government of Western Armenia. While the Republic of Western Armenia, with official statements by its president Armenak Abrahamian and Prime Minister Garnik Sarkisyan has repeatedly emphasized that border between the Republic of Artsakh and Azerbaijan will be determined on the basis of Article 92 of the Treaty of Severs. Not only lies, but the ropes of betrayal are short. These self-proclaimed traitors and criminal anti-Armenian group, which is acting as the government of Western Armenia for almost two years, will fall into its own trap today by publishing a document that fundamentally contradicts national and legal foundations of the Republic of Western Armenia, and especially the Treaty of Severs. When a traitor freely pours poison right and left, causing deep harm to the nation and is not brought to responsibility, there will come a day when he will become an accomplice of the enemy. Each traitor has a set and to completely prevent such acts of conspiracy, the government of Western Armenia states the following. The Republic of Western Armenia reaffirms its national, principled, legal and political position on the border between the Republic of Artsakh and Azerbaijan based solely on Article 92 of the Treaty of Severs. Any site that illegally uses the authority of the state of Western Armenia shall be subject to appropriate liability. All those associated with such criminals who illegally abuse the power of the state of Western Armenia will also be held accountable. Prime Minister of Western Armenia, Garnik Sarkisyan. Since the declaration of sovereignty of the Dashna government in Tiflis on May 13, 2018, on the Armenian regions of the Caucasus, we have studied that there are four configurations relating to the western borders of Azerbaijan. First configuration, according to the Armenian Republic of Caucasus. The Dashna government and Turkey signed a Batum Treaty on June 4, 1918, defining the borders between Turkey and Azerbaijan. Till now, these borders are claimed by Azerbaijan. Second configuration, according to the Republic of Armenia. Armenia. The Republic of Armenia declared independent on 23 August 1990, passed a law of 24 June 2010, partially defining the borders with Azerbaijan and Nakhichevan. Third configuration according to the Republic of Artsakh. In this configuration, the Republic of Artsakh describes a border with Azerbaijan, which corresponds to the Bishkek armistice signed between Artsakh and Azerbaijan on May 1994, which should include the northern regions of Shahumyan. Fourth configuration according to the Republic of Western Armenia. On June 24, 2016, the Republic of Western Armenia ratified the Treaty of Severs, which defines the border conditions between Turkey and Armenia and between Armenia and Azerbaijan. You can find the full article and the intervention of President Armenak Abrahamian on this issue in our official website. On August 31, 1927, the devoted son of the motherland, Andra Nikozanyan, a symbol of the struggle for the liberation of Western Armenia, passed away. On that day, the Armenian nation lost its great son, to whom were dedicated a number of songs and legends. We preserve the memory of the glorious hero of the Armenian nation, continuing his sacred work. Our duty is to complete the unfinished goal of Andra Nikozanyan, to liberate Western Armenia and to realize the idea of free, independent and united Armenia. Rest in peace, brave soldier of the homeland. 
As a result of archaeological excavations in the area of Aeneas Fortress, built by King Rusa II of Kingdom of Van, the oldest samples of artificial synthetic paint were found near Lake Van in Armenian highlands. According to experts, the wall found during excavations was painted with the paint about 2,700 years ago. Previously, this paint was found in Egypt and was called Egyptian blue. Recently, a shepherd in Dogasar region of Sebastia, Western Armenia, has discovered wheat, which supposedly is million years old. The peasant picking up the rock covered with wheat handed it over to a history teacher, researcher, and writer Fikri Karaman, who for many years has been studying samples belonging to ancient times. Karaman has discovered that an interesting rock is a wheat fossil. This is the first time I came across such a fossil. These are the remains of thousands and maybe millions of years. Let the scientists decide mentioned Fikri Karaman. The fossils found can change already well-known history of Western Armenia. After the study, it will be known how many years ago these plants were cultivated or grown here. Earlier, we also reported that the remains of marine animals were found in this area. Now, let us represent to your attention a song by Gusan Sheram Andranikin. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.